What's up guys, this is Altarian and I'm bringing you a guide to the 10 idle challenge. My loadout here is going to be the pike and the mortar. Uh, my secret skill doesn't matter, I don't end up using it. Uh, so pick whatever you're comfortable with if you do have a secret skill that you like to use. For my pike I have the pure melee upgrades and for my mortar uh, the only important one is immunity to bomb damage. I actually really like the crit upgrade as well. Um, everything else, just whatever you're comfortable with. The, the mortar hitting really hard is really your, your greatest benefit. And here are my spirits. Uh, they're all fairly standard. You know, I get myself some extra crit, some extra health, stuff like that. Just to, you know, make yourself as buff as possible. So we are jumping into the dream here. And I'm going to start out by knocking out all of the debris. You just want that out of your way so that you don't run into it by mistake and end up getting hit by stuff because you're going to spend a lot of time running away. Especially your squirts and stuff are quite fast. So the danger on this first wave is the the large spinny guy there. Um, I ended up taking him out with a crit mortar shot which was pretty beneficial and then I walk into a bomb. That's one of the things you need to watch out for especially on squirt packs. Uh, the, the bombs can get pretty dangerous here. So now we got some towers and one of the dashy scumbags. Um, just run away from him, take out your towers, your pike can one-shot them. And then kill him however you feel like. Uh, I'm going to counter block him and throw a mortar shot. And then get knocked back really hard because I'm failing. And yeah, now I've knocked him out, no problems there. And we're waiting on the next wave, which is going to be the large blue windbags, I believe. Yeah. So your your mortar will one-shot them. You can also one-shot them by counter-blocking. You know, however you're, you're comfortable taking them out. These guys should be pretty easy to clean up. You if you're having trouble with this wave, then you're going to have a lot of trouble with later waves. Frail thing with and next, we're going to have some more scumbags, I believe. No, this is towers and the squirt spawners. So your mortar is going to take out the squirt spawners in one shot. So that makes life really easy. Just go ahead and take them out and run away from the squirts. Uh, your mortar is not very useful. This is one of the reasons that I use the pike. You can roll away, then stab with the pike, then roll away again, and you're safe from the squirts, and you don't have to worry about the bombs. The bombs are really your greatest danger of dying against most of this stuff. So now we just have some ranged scumbags. Just poke at them with your mortar if you feel like hitting them with your pike, whatever. Just roll away from the stuff they shoot, and you shouldn't really take any damage. Make his mama some money. Now we're on the next wave here. I, I prefer to counter block as much as I can on this wave. It's three towers. The towers, their shots are really fast, and there's multiple shots, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. And the green guys are actually really easy to counter block on that wave, so it's another good way to heal yourself up. On this wave, you're going to have a green guy that actually you can't counter block. Uh, he's going to knock you in the air, like you see right there, if you fail. So I try to have him attack, and I shoot a mortar shot next to him, and he dies really fast. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out on to the next wave here, we are going to have the guys that are going to knock holes in the ground. You want to try to kill them as fast as possible. I actually kind of fail at killing them quickly uh, later on, the second wave of them. And I'm going to end up with a lot of holes. The holes in the ground can definitely become a problem. The city had nothing for him. And just using the mortar to clean up that guy. And now we are moving right along to the next wave. This is one of the most dangerous, these spinny guys. As I just kind of stand there and take it so you can see how quickly they do damage. I just want to roll away as fast as possible when they so stop. The just throw out mortar shots. Uh, crit right mortar shots are going to kill them, otherwise two mortar shots will kill them. Years. And now we're starting to repeat waves with just more stuff. Uh, run away from the spinny guy, throw mortar shots out to try to uh, pick him off. I'm going to throw one right here. And I'm missing, so just keep running, keep throwing mortar shots. That one's going to hit him. And falling off, generally not the best idea, but you know, if it happens, it happens. It shouldn't be a big deal. With the leech aid, you're going to heal a lot. So don't worry too much about the damage you take. Now for our next wave, more towers, just one shot them with your pike. 
And then we're gonna clean up the scumbag. How are we How feeling? Like I ended up getting a crit mortar shot, so which is one shot him, which makes st life really easy here. And now more of the large blue windbags. Gonna throw some mortar shots. I'm gonna counter block a couple times. Just however you feel like killing them. I think counter blocking is best. You heal quite a bit when you get counter block. But mortar shots are definitely a lot safer. In time, the kid are in good standing with the marshals. They trust the Now moving on to our next anybody. wave. We are going to have the flame towers and squirt spawners. I get a nice spawn there, so I get to kill two at once. And I just keep killing the spawners and running away from the squirts. They're all taken care of. I'm just gonna take out this tower real quick. Then just cleaning up squirts. I just gonna stab my pike, roll away, stab, roll away, until they're all cleaned up. Making sure I'm not running into any bombs for no apparent reason. And split apart. And now some more ranged scumbags. They're super easy to take out, and usually uh, when you got two of them anywhere near each other, you're going to end up hitting you both of the mortar, just because the, the explosion range on the mortar is so the massive. Happened, just like that. Now this wave, I get a nice spawn there, so I kill two at once. A crit pike shot takes the, him out in one shot, now I'm just going to counter block the last ones. All the kid had to work with was his hammer. And now we're just Close waiting on the next back. wave. Killing stuff quickly, it, it makes it a lot easier when you're able to kill things quickly. Get an Olaf proc on that uh, squirt there, which is annoying, but not a big deal. You really just want to play defensively. Try to avoid getting yourself into sticky situations. Wait for him to attack and throw a mortar shot. He ran with it's all city crest. not all terribly difficult. To guide it's just you got to get used to the the speed and the amount of damage that things are going to take. One of the other benefits of the mortar that I'll mention is the uh, the Garmouth procs on your projectiles. Even if that happens with the mortar, you're going to uh, still hit them because of the explosion range which is really nice. So this is where I, I kind of fail at killing those guys quickly, so I have a lot of holes in that side. I end up pretty much avoiding that side for the rest of my run through this. Well, it finally arrived at so we've got a few Ceylon reflections Ceylon remaining here. And no one else. This is one of the more dangerous ones right here. I am taking a lot of damage from him, but I get the crit, so he ends up dying. Try to play safe, get away from these guys. I'm gonna fall down a hole again. I'm really low on health. I get them to a point that I know that I can throw a safe mortar shot, and I do so. I'm being really careful around this side this time. Throw another mortar shot, and I end up killing two with a crit. And Look there's that. a lucky crit on the last one. And now we have that cleaned up. Now in this wave, uh, you get some different towers. These are going to be the homing shots. Um, but the towers die very easily. All this stuff has pretty low health. So just go ahead, kill all the towers. Your boxes are going to be squirts. You know, we know how to handle squirts at this point. All the squirts are down. I'm just going to throw out another mortar shot to take those two out. Sure, and we are all set onto the last the reflection, which is going to be one of those nasty steam bowls and a couple of ranged scumbags. So on the bowl here, I'm trying to use an obstacle in order to get keep him from getting to me so I can deal as much damage as possible with mortars. I'm just ignoring the scumbags, just trying to keep them away from me. And now he gets up to me, so I'm just going to hold my shield. I'm in a position where I'm also knocking away all the scumbag shots. And then I use one mortar shot and I, I hit him with a pike because my spike my pike has armor like piercing say, in order to what he's doing. clean up the he's steam bowl and then sure scumbags are simple and we have done it. Not the cleanest run by any means. You can certainly do it taking a lot less damage than I did if you're more careful.